Today we are going to do a children's activity based on the story of Ruth. So here's what you will need. I've got my paper, my crayons and some scissors. I'm going to start off with the white paper and just fold it over like so. Now I want you to draw a flower but make sure that your flower extends right to the, to the fold of the paper. And when you're cutting it out, don't cut the fold. This is because we need it to open and close so that it can reveal a hidden message. Just like that, look, you can see the fold there. So I want you to do four flower pictures and you can colour them in. You can probably spend a bit more time on yours than I did, make it look a bit better. So we've got four flowers there all able to be folded to show a secret message. Okay, now I've got my yellow paper and I'm just going to cut some out just to make it easier to handle and I'm going to make some little strips. So I'm making two long thin strips like this and that's what I'm going to put my wheat on and then I'm going to do three strips with um, a pointy end and then I can fold down the ends of them and make them look a bit like grass. They haven't got to be all the same size or shape. Um, okay, just pop them to one side and now I've got some green background paper. You can use any colour you like really. And just organise and arrange your strips onto the paper until you're happy with them. I like to fold the ends down just to make it look a bit more 3D, a bit more real. And then you can glue them down when you're happy with them. And then with the rest of the yellow paper, just cut out some smaller but, but thicker strips. Just like this. You'll probably need about 20. Um, just depends how long your, your other strips have been. So take your glue and just glue the ends. And then we're going to make some very small little paper rings, just like this. I'll do that with all of them. And then it's easier if you glue on the paper like I've done because I struggled to do it the other way. But then just arrange them onto the long thin strips just like this and it looks like wheat and it's a nice 3D picture. You could use um, some dried pasta chips if you've got any. Uh, rigatoni would probably work quite well or macaroni. And now just have a look at the flowers that you've made. And see where you want them to go. I think I want them like this. And when you're happy with them, just take your glue and glue them down. Make sure that the opening is at the top or the bottom or wherever you want it to be. Just make sure that they still open up. Here we go. And just do the bottom ones. It doesn't matter if they overlap a little bit onto your, onto your picture or if they hang off the side. That's fine. And then on the inside, I just want you to write. I've chosen this part of the story of Ruth because I think it's a lovely part. Where you go, I will go. Where you stay, I will stay. Your people will be my people and your God will be my God. That's what Ruth said to Naomi. She was being faithful and obedient. And there's your finished picture. A nice 3D textured picture. All about Ruth.